Welcome to the Friendly Podcast Guide, sorting through podcasts so you don't have to. I'm Andy Smiley, and I want to help you discover the right podcast without having to listen to an entire episode. Now, let's talk podcasts. Hi, everybody. This week, I am talking about Emerge Empowered. And I'm excited to give you the details and then to get to my conversation that I had with Ember Pilati, who is the host of the podcast. First, I'll give you the show description. Emerge Empowered is a community where we share tools, strategies, and clear action items that enable you to embrace your true identity, evolve in your personal development journey, enhance your life through meaningful change, excel with your natural strengths, engage purposefully, enjoy clarity, and expand your influence, enabling you to live your best life. Um, The length of the show is around 20 minutes. Interview episodes are longer. Well, some of them are longer, but most of the episodes are right around 20 minutes. Um, This podcast is completely kid ear friendly. You do not have to plug your headphones in to listen to this around your kids. The episodes are available every Wednesday and it is an ongoing show. Okay, before we talk about the vibe of Emerge Empowered, I wanted to take a quick break to talk about the Friendly Podcast Guide on Instagram. You can follow us there at Friendly Podcast Guide pretty straightforward. And I will be talking about the episodes as they come out and talking about things that don't make the final cut of the actual episode. And I might even pull out my ukulele from time to time. I would love it if you followed us over there at Friendly Podcast Guide. Now, let's get back to Ember. I can't wait for you to hear from her about her podcast and more about why she makes her podcast and what she hopes people can get out of it. Here is my conversation with Ember. We are so excited to have Ember on the podcast today, and I'm going to start just with the first question. Why do you make your podcast, Ember? Well, I just first of all want to say thank you so much for having me on your podcast. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, So why do I make my podcast? Well, I was a busy mom of five kids and feeling like, um, life was happening to me instead of I make life happen. I found some amazing tools and opened my eyes. I found the world of coaching and it opened my eyes to a whole new way of life. And I wanted to share it. My podcast is a way that I can empower women and give back and, I just, I love it. I love that I can share my message with so many women and help them become who they're supposed to become and live a more fulfilled life that they can actually love life and be fulfilled in their motherhood journey. I love that. Thank you. Well, and that makes sense to me. Like you're giving back, you're trying to make the world better. I love that. Okay. Now, can you tell me what would you consider the vibe or the feeling of your podcast? So my podcast is really designed for busy moms. (laughs) So I do quick 20 minute episodes. I like to give really like actionable items. Like if this is what you want to have happen, try this, right. Um, things that will help them with their confidence, with their mindset, um, processing emotion, taking action, and the principles of self-compassion. We work on goals. We work on all sorts of things to make their life better, but it's quick because honestly, I'm the mom of five kids and I don't have time. I don't have time to just like listen all day. I need it to be quick when I'm running in the car or some, something else. So I, I just, I help women to be empowered and live life on purpose. Love that. Um, Okay. Now, can you tell me, is it more, so I have listened to an episode and I really loved it. Um, And it was all about saying thank you instead of I'm sorry. And it felt, um, I can't think of the right word, not, it felt a little more hopeful or, and kind of bubbly and happy rather than like super serious. Would you say that's kind of how your, how your show usually goes? I have only listened to one episode, but I have a lot more in the queue. So (laughs) what, so what would you say? Is it more of like a sincere serious or is it a little more bubbly and, and lighthearted? 
I would say it's a little bit more upbeat and, and positive. The, the tools that I teach are to bring more energy, more peace, more joy into your life. And so I really do try to keep more of a positive outlook and keep things like, um, take one more step, right? Just a little step. And so, yeah, it's upbeat. It's quick. It's, um, I've had several people tell me it's calm, but I don't think it's boring. <laughs> no, definitely, so, definitely. So it's peaceful and it's energetic at the same time. If that, if that kind that's of, that's perfect. Sense. That's mm-hmm. yes. I just want the people listening to be able to kind of know what they're getting into and, and kind of the feeling. Cause I feel like sometimes I want something that's super exciting and bubbly. And sometimes I want mm-hmm. something that's a look li- that's calming. Right. I, mm-hmm. and so just kind of to help my listeners figure out what, what vibe they're going for, for that day, what kind of podcast they want. Um, okay. Next question is what do you want people to get out of your podcast? Like I mentioned, it's really for busy moms. And I was really in a place in my motherhood journey where I was really frustrated and I was pretty resentful, even though I was doing what I had always wanted to do as, and, and that is raise a family. And I was being successful in that, but not personally, I wasn't getting a lot of fulfillment out of it. And so my whole goal is to help women take their personal power back and to go from being frustrated to having peace from resentment to acceptance to from shame into love. So I, everything about my coaching practice is, is it's centered in my flourish framework and, and just the core, I won't go into it all the, it's pretty involved, but the core of it is really confidence, clarity, and connection. And, and that's what I find women need. And that's how they emerge empowered is that they take their personal power back and they find true confidence, not what the, not what the world kind of teaches us confidence is, but true identity, who they are and their purpose and things like that. So true confidence and then finding clarity through, um, through this great synergy of mindset, emotions, and actions, how those three really work together and finding that clarity and then connection with themselves and other people. And that's really, we, we go, we dive into goals. We dive into, you know, how to become more fulfilled in, in motherhood or as a woman or just anything that involves, um, I know this sounds kind of strange, but anything that resides in your circle of control. So you have so much power within you and without even knowing it, women just hand it over to all the people around us because we're caregivers and we're nurturers and those things. And, and when you can begin to take that power back, that's really where you emerge empowered. So I teach you how to do that. That's amazing. I love, I love the thought of taking your power back and giving it how you want to, instead of Mm -hmm. it, instead of just giving it away willy nilly. Okay. So you've talked about, you've talked about your program, but can you tell me specifically if you have a favorite episode and then why it's your favorite? Well, this is such a great question. Um, most of my episodes are solo episodes. And then once a month, I usually do an interview. Um, so I will say I have two favorite interviews so far. Uh, one is all about, um, goal setting and setting yourself up for success in your goal setting, which if it's the kind of the beginning of the year, we're kind of all thinking about that. Um, it's episode number six, how to set yourself up for success with Michelle Wasden. Um, my other favorite interview is episode 45, the key to creating more connection in your marriage. And that was with Tony Overbay from the virtual couch, which is a favorite podcast of mine. He is incredible. Um, a marriage and family therapist. His was great. Um, as far as my favorite episode of like my solo episodes, um, you mentioned 10 situations to use. Thank you. Instead of sorry, that's a great one. Just, and it's quick and actionable. It's something that actually just change. It just shifts. Um, shifts your power into more of a gratitude instead of shrinking back into an apologetic mode. Um, but honestly, 
Um, I love episode number 46 because it introduces a new concept to most people and it's called how to make gratitude even more powerful. I introduced this concept of savoring and it's how to actually um, lengthen and strengthen the positive emotions that you feel in your life and how to make them last longer and feel them even deeper. It's really cool. So that's that sounds one of amazing. My Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. definitely going to, I just wrote it down so that I can get it later and I will be, I'll link all of these episodes in the show notes so that if someone wants to jump right to it, they can. Um, okay. That was my last question. And thank you. Where can people find you? So I, my website is emergeempowered.org. I am on Instagram at emerge underscore empowered and on YouTube, Ember Pilati life and relationship coach. I also have a free download. It's a free mini course at emergeempowered.org slash enough. And it's all about discovering that you are enough. It's a 10 day free mini course that you can download right from there. That's amazing. Okay. I will make sure to link all of that as well in the show notes so people can find you easily. And thank you so much, Ember, for being on the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you want to hear about more podcasts, please follow or subscribe on your podcast app of choice. Also, you can follow us over on Instagram at Friendly Podcast Guide. Talk to you soon. My sweet baby M wanted to contribute to this episode. So here she is. Uh, uh, uh.